Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are delving into a serious topic that has affected both humans and animals alike. In this video, we'll be shedding light on mad cow disease. So, let's dive right in. What is mad cow disease? Mad cow disease, scientifically known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy (BSE), is a progressive, degenerative, and fatal neurological disorder that primarily affects cattle. The disease is caused by an abnormal form of protein called prion, which misfolds and accumulates in the brain, leading to the formation of microscopic holes and spongy tissue. As the brain's function is compromised, the affected cattle exhibit neurological symptoms, such as behavioral changes, lack of coordination, and difficulty in movement. The disease raised considerable concern due to its potential transmission to humans through the consumption of beef products derived from infected cattle. In humans, this condition is referred to as variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease VCJD, and it is invariably fatal with no known cure. What is the history of mad cow disease BSE? The history of mad cow disease can be traced back to the late 20th century, with its initial emergence in the United Kingdom. Here's a timeline of the key events in the history of mad cow disease. Emergence, early 1980s, the first cases of mad cow disease were identified in the United Kingdom in the early 1980s. Initially, researchers struggled to understand its cause and transmission. Cattle affected by BSE exhibited unusual neurological symptoms, such as loss of coordination, aggression, and difficulty walking. Spread and crisis, late 1980s 1990s, as more cases were discovered, the disease began to spread rapidly across the UK and other European countries through contaminated feed. Variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, VCJD, connection, 1996, in 1996, a potential link between mad cow disease and a new variant of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, VCJD, in humans was established. VCJD is a rare and fatal human prion disease that shares similar characteristics with BSE. It was believed that people could contract VCJD by consuming meat products from infected cattle. Trade bans and control measures, late 1990s 2000s, the BSE outbreak triggered international concern, leading to widespread bans on British beef exports and stringent control measures to contain the disease. Decline in surveillance, 2000s present, over time, the number of BSE cases declined significantly due to effective control measures and enhanced surveillance programs. About Causal Agent of Mad Cow Disease BSE. The causal agent of mad cow disease is an abnormal form of a protein called prion. Prions are unique infectious agents as they consist solely of misfolded proteins and do not contain any genetic material like DNA or RNA. The normal prion protein, PRP carrot C, is a natural component found in the brain and other tissues of both cattle and humans. It plays a role in various cellular processes and is usually harmless. However, under certain circumstances, the prion protein can misfold into an abnormal, pathogenic form called PRP carrot SC. The misfolded prion protein, PRP carrot SC, has a different three-dimensional structure than the normal PRP carrot C. This misfolded form is highly stable and can aggregate to form insoluble clumps in the brain. The accumulation of PRP carrot SC in the nervous system leads to progressive damage to nerve cells and the development of microscopic holes, giving the brain a spongy appearance. The origin of the abnormal prions that cause mad cow disease is not entirely understood, but it is believed to be related to the practice of feeding cattle with meat and bone meal containing infected tissues from other affected animals. How Mad Cow Disease Transmits to Humans Mad cow disease, scientifically known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy BSE, can transmit to humans through the consumption of beef products contaminated with the abnormal prion protein PRP carrot SC. The prion responsible for mad cow disease is highly stable and survives even during cooking and food processing, making it a significant public health concern. When cattle are infected with BSE, the misfolded prion protein PRP carrot SC, accumulates primarily in the brain and spinal cord. During the slaughtering and meat processing process, small traces of infected neural tissues can contaminate beef products. If a human consumes beef contaminated with these abnormal prions, there is a risk of the prions crossing the species barrier and infecting the human body. It's essential to note that the transmission of BSE to humans is considered a rare event, and the vast majority of cases of VCJD have been linked to countries with significant outbreaks of BSE, such as the United Kingdom during the 1980s and 1990s. Pathogenicity of Mad Cow Disease in Human Being VCJD. 
The pathogenicity of mad cow disease in human beings is primarily manifested as variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, VCJD. VCJD is a rare, fatal, and incurable prion disease that affects the human brain in a manner similar to BSE in cattle. Here's an overview of the pathogenicity of mad cow disease in human beings. Transmission to humans. The primary mode of transmission of mad cow disease to humans is through the consumption of beef products contaminated with the abnormal prion protein, PRP carrot SC, responsible for BSE. When humans consume infected beef, the misfolded prions can survive the digestive process and cross the species barrier to infect human cells. Long incubation period. After exposure to BSE prions, there is a long incubation period before symptoms of VCJD appear in humans. This incubation period can range from several years to several decades, making it challenging to identify the source of infection and detect cases early. Neurological degeneration. Once BCJD takes hold, it leads to progressive and severe degeneration of the central nervous system. The misfolded prions cause damage to nerve cells in the brain, leading to the formation of microscopic holes and the characteristic spongy appearance which leads to the clinical symptoms. What are the symptoms of variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, VCJD? VCJD is a rare and fatal prion disease that affects the central nervous system in humans. Some of the common symptoms of VCJD include personality and behavioral changes. This can include mood swings, depression, anxiety, and withdrawal from social activities. Cognitive impairment. Memory problems, confusion, and difficulty with reasoning and judgment are common. Muscle stiffness. Rigidity of muscles, particularly in the limbs, may be present, making movements slow and difficult. Lack of coordination. Patients may experience difficulty with coordination and balance, leading to unsteady gait and an increased risk of falling. Sensory disturbances. Some individuals with VCJD may experience sensory symptoms, such as changes in vision, hearing, or sensitivity to touch. Loss of speech and swallowing difficulties. As VCJD progresses, patients may lose the ability to speak coherently and may experience difficulties with swallowing, leading to aspiration pneumonia. Rapid deterioration. As VCJD progresses further, the neurological symptoms worsen rapidly, leading to severe disability and loss of motor function. Patients become completely immobile and unresponsive, eventually requiring 24-hour care and death occurs within short period of time. How to Diagnose Variant Creutzfeldt Jakob Disease VCJD. There is no single definitive test for VCJD. Here are some key methods used in the diagnosis of VCJD. Clinical Evaluation. A thorough clinical evaluation by a neurologist is the initial step in diagnosing VCJD. Medical History. The patient's medical history, including potential exposure to contaminated beef products or living in an area with a history of bovine spongiform encephalopathy, mad cow disease, is essential information for the diagnosis. EEG. Electroencephalogram. An EEG is a non-invasive test that measures the electrical activity of the brain. In VCJD, the EEG may show characteristic abnormalities, including periodic sharp wave complexes. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, an MRI of the brain is often performed to assess the brain structure and detect any abnormalities, such as brain atrophy or changes in specific brain regions. CSF analysis. Lumbar puncture, also known as a spinal tap, may be performed to collect cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. In some cases of VCJD, the CSF may show increased levels of certain proteins, known as 1, 4, 3, 3 proteins, which can be suggestive of the disease. Prion protein detection. The definitive diagnosis of VCJD requires the detection of abnormal prion protein, PRP caret SC, in brain tissue. This can only be done by postmortem through brain biopsy or autopsy. What is treatment for variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, VCJD? There is no specific treatment or cure for VCJD. The lack of effective treatments is primarily due to the unique nature of prion diseases, including their resistance to traditional antiviral or antibiotic therapies. In the absence of a cure, management of VCJD focuses on providing supportive care to improve the patient's quality of life and alleviate symptoms. How to prevent variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, VCJD. Preventing variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, VCJD, involves implementing measures to reduce the risk of transmission of the abnormal prion responsible for the disease. Following preventive strategies are essential to safeguard public health. 
Food Safety Regulations Strict regulations and guidelines have been implemented in the food and agricultural industries to minimize the risk of BSE transmission to humans through contaminated beef products. Testing cattle for BSE helps identify infected animals and prevent contaminated meat from entering the food supply. Control measures in cattle. Cattle affected by BSE are showing signs of the disease are identified, isolated, and removed from the food supply chain to prevent further transmission. Stricter regulations on animal feed and the removal of specified risk materials SRMs, help reduce the risk of BSE transmission within the cattle population. Education and public awareness. Educating the public, farmers, and food industry workers about BSE, VCJD, and the importance of food safety practices is vital. Raising awareness about the risks associated with consuming contaminated beef products can help prevent exposure. International collaboration. BSE and VCJD are global health concerns, and international collaboration is essential in sharing information, best practices, and coordinating efforts to prevent and control these diseases on a global scale. Conclusion. Mad cow disease is a sobering reminder of how diseases can cross species barriers and impact both animal and human populations. Understanding the disease, implementing preventive measures, and supporting ongoing research are essential steps to protect public health and ensure the safety of our food supply. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Stay safe, and until next time, take care.